Sin City, the city that never sleeps, just woke up to a real estate nightmare. Everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Who's ready to do a little real estate whistleblowing? We're gonna take a look at our good fuzzy friends that are failing right in front of our very eyes. The fuse has officially been lit, my friends. Buckle up and strap in. You know, I was just talking to one of our subscribers. It was a great conversation. I always have the best conversations with our subscribers, of course, because we're like-minded people. We're iron can sharpen iron. But we were talking, we said, you know, unless you've lived through an economic downturn before, a cycle, and maybe suffered a little blowback as a bill-paying adult, you have no idea what's... What's coming? You have no idea. You're hearing about the talks of recession, but unless you've lived through one in that capacity, you're completely unprepared emotionally, physically, and quite possibly financially for what's around the corner. So today we're going to take a look as we continue to heat map and temperature check the biggest asset class in the world that exhibited bubble behavior like never seen in history. We're going to take a look at that as we keep our thumb on the pulse of it. Why? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you it's because if we lose the housing market, we will lose the entire economy. It's happened before and most likely it's going to happen again. So the funny thing about Las Vegas, this is an issue. I always say throw a dart at a map and you're hitting an area exhibiting crash behavior. That's how significant this is getting now. But we're just getting started. So we have to look at forward indicator signs. And we're going to take a look at, at Las Vegas. And for that, again, you could just throw a dart at a map of Las Vegas and you're hitting a property that's in trouble. We're going to look at a property that I just pulled up, you know, Las Vegas and went ahead and the first property I picked I could blow, I could just blow apart. I could probably blow apart almost every listing if not nationally, definitely in Las Vegas. So that's exactly what we're going to do today as we, as our goal continues to be entertain each other, educate each other, and inform each other. That's what we're here for. Whew. I appreciate the data. I appreciate the tea leaves, but I don't want to watch a channel that's, that, that's like watching paint dry. I mean, just give me some forward thinking people chasing the data and then taking their 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 videos and chopping them up until they're perfect nobody is perfect if you're watching any channels out there friends that are perfect you're watching the wrong channel welcome to the real world so without further ado let's jump over and take a, a look at a listing together in las vegas nevada then we'll meet back here and wrap this one up let's get started all right, friends, buckle up and strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors, maybe even put on an economic face mask. If you still have one, we're heading into Sin City, Lost Wages, Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps, although they're about to wake up to a nightmare. Now let's go look at some local real estate as we bring up our crash map, courtesy of our good fuzzy friends and failed iBuyers over at Zillow. Everything on our screen going through the kiss of death price reductions. Now let's go ahead and take a sneak peek around today's property. And here we go, a fairly decent looking house. But what do we see? You guessed it. Somebody's living in here. Somebody needs to get out. Somebody wants to sell. Let's look in to some of the numbers and see if we can read between the lines and look between the cracks. Next up, our property description. And it's not so much what it says, it's how long they're taking to say it. It goes on and on trying to use buzzwords. It clearly just shows me they think... Their house is special. There's only one thing that's going to fix this house, and that's price. Let's go take a look. According to recent sales, today's property has an estimated mid-range value of $817,000, which is where they should be priced at if they're smart, if not the lower end. Now, let's go see where they're priced at. Now, the tail and the tape, the nitty-gritty to see if we're gambling in Vegas or making a smart buy. We can see our property is currently stuck on the market at $825,000 after a laundry list of price reductions guilty of chasing the market. We started at almost a million dollars and we're now in the low eights with a value range listed in the sevens, which is probably where they need to be priced. Unfortunately, somebody may have drank 
the economic Kool-Aid and found themselves in a tough position. Let's look a little further. If we were silly enough to give them their stuck on the market price of $825,000, which we're not, at today's interest rate with a standard amount down, our approximate monthly cost to carry would be $5,400 per month just for mortgage service alone. Now let's get in to its rent range. All right, the tail on the tape, the nitty gritty, what a property's real value is, what somebody would be willing to rent it for, even if it's not a rental. And this one has a mid-range value range of $4,300 a month in estimated rents, which is probably closer to four as we're in a declining rental market as well in Las Vegas. Our property would cost us almost $5,500 just to carry it from a mortgage standpoint, not including maintenance and all other related expenses, which clearly are just going up. Our seller, in my opinion, has a lot more work to do. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, a welcome back. And there you go. Las Vegas, welcome to the swimming pool. You're swimming with the economic sharks. Unfortunately, people have what I've deemed as real estate euphoric recall. I know because when I'm dealing with sellers, most of them are like, I see it coming, downturn. When I'm dealing with, with I'm sorry, when I'm dealing with sell, when I'm dealing with buyers, they're like, I see it coming, economic downturn. Dealing with sellers, they're like, no crash risk here. This is the, wa these are, this is the dynamic in the waters we have to swim in. So as a strategic negotiator, if you're buying, we got to prepare ourselves for that. If we're selling, we got to prepare ourselves for that as well. We need to be somewhere in the middle. Unfortunately, people now suffered. I don't say enjoyed. They suffered from the wealth effect created by real estate. People now are greedy. They want a bunch of money for their home when the environment has clearly changed. And how will it continue to change? Exactly the way we're seeing it change right in front of our eyes in real time if you look at it. Real estate markets will start to fall. And another big sign for me personally, we're in a risen interest rate environment. These markets are looking for anything to start up the cheerleading machine again. A rate pause will take it, cheerlead away. The cheerleading is starting. You will get at best a sucker's rally. But unfortunately, this thing's too far gone. The train has left the station and it's off the tracks. I don't even care if you reduced interest rates back to crisis lows. It doesn't save this one. We're already maxed out as an economy. And final thoughts that come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a real estate guy that wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understand the waters you're swimming in now. They're shark infested. Las Vegas, welcome to the swimming pool. I could go on and on and on all over the country and examine exactly what we examine today. And I never suggest anybody do anything that I'm not doing or willing to do myself. Insulate yourself in these times. Understand the waters you're swimming in. If you're out there working or playing in real estate, looking for deals, congratulations. I do believe you should be out there doing that right now. It's now identifying properties that may weather the storm better than others. And that's what I'm here for. And I'll continue to do that the best of my ability because it's not only what we need, it's in fact, what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you, it would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Or simply reach out to Scott Walters Real Estate at Gmail. I'll find you there. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. God bless. I'll see you on the next video.